an ANC Gauteng conference meant to elect the provincial leadership. Immediately. But not without controversy, making the new provincial executive list to embattled former Gauteng Health MECs. Chief Whip Brian Chongwa implicated in alleged corruption by the Special Investigation Unit and Tatani Matlangu embroiled in the life Esidimeni tragedy. We have learned from the tragedy of life Esidimeni. We report to you the interventions we have made. But outrage at Matlangu's re-election. It cannot be okay that she is on the PEC. It cannot be business as usual. I'm sorry, it, can, it just cannot be. And that's still... Aggrieved families say it's like rubbing salt into a wound. What makes me mad is that you assume we don't understand what's going on. You assume that we don't see what's going on. And that for me is insulting. It's really insulting. If you're going to do something wrong, you must be held accountable for it. And it's really that simple. The, the investigation. Hope is slowly fading. In the time that we spent with them during this process and the arbitration process, the feeling that we got is that they will do anything and everything to correct us. So we were in that, we, we had that impression all along. But when these results came out, for us it was like, whoa, were we just being fooled or were we just being taken for a ride? Unleashed a wave of anger on social media platforms. I don't they care about all the patients who died in life of sedimeni, 144 lives lost and, and much suffering, and don't they care about the corruption that Brian Schlong was implicated in the Gauteng Health Department, which has never recovered from the time when he was health MEC. It's important that we indicate that the outrage by families is understandable. At the 13th Provincial Conference, an organizational report was presented, and that particular report, when it was presented, it did outline to the incoming PEC that uh, there are these outstanding matters that are sitting before the Integrity Committee, that they would need to ensure that they are finalized as speedily as possible. And those matters concerned the individuals that you have mentioned. For the aggrieved families, though, any delay appears to be justice denied. Mark Kitamatabe, SABC News, Johannesburg.